What are the alternatives to a systematic review? Systematic reviews are time and resource intensive undertakings requiring multiple participants, adherence to specific standards, and often specialized software. There are, however, many other publication types that endeavor to synthesize evidence, albeit to different degrees. Depending on your timeline and the nature of your research, you may want to consider a different type of review. A 2009 article entitled A Typology of Reviews defines 14 distinct review types, and it may be worth consulting in order to see which best fits your research need. There's a link to the article in the video description. For this presentation, we'll focus on the three most common types of reviews that researchers complete when a systematic review is either not possible or not ideal to address the research question. The purpose of a literature review, also known as a narrative review, is to gather recent articles on a topic and synthesize or analyze them to identify what is currently known. This type of review is also commonly used to identify gaps in the published literature and opportunities for further research. You can think of these articles as taking a current snapshot of the current state of published evidence, but without applying the rigorous search methodology, exhaustive consultation of sources, and critical appraisal of a systematic review. According to the National Library of Medicine's Medical Subject Heading Scope Note, a literature review, quote, can cover a wide range of subject matter at various levels of completeness and comprehensiveness based on analyses of literature that may include research findings, end quote. Authors of literature reviews commonly employ some type of criteria for including an article in their study. However, the parameters are less formal than those prescribed in a systematic review, and the scope is less comprehensive in nature. Check the links in the video information section to see an example of a narrative review. As the name suggests, a rapid review may be a good alternative to a full systematic review, depending on your timeline. Rapid reviews employ some systematic review methods to bring a higher level of evidence appraisal and rigor than a narrative review, but with a few key differences. To reduce the time frame needed to critically appraise hundreds or thousands of studies, rapid reviews cut down on some of the requirements of full systematic reviews. For example, appraisal criteria might be lessened, or gray literature may or may not be included at all. A rapid review might be a good fit if your timeline is short and your question is well focused. Check the links in the video information section to see an example of a rapid review. A scoping review may be a good option if your research question is less well defined and you wish to determine the volume and scope of evidence available about a topic. A scoping review may be a good option if your research question is less well defined and you want to determine the volume and scope of evidence available about your topic. Scoping reviews are necessarily broad and are used to determine whether there is ample evidence to pursue a more focused question that might be addressed by a systematic or other review. Critically, scoping reviews do not address recommendations to clinical practice or policy. They're a preliminary step used to determine what evidence exists, not to appraise it. Check the links in the video information section to see an example of a scoping review. As we've covered, the type of review that you choose to pursue will depend on the resources you have available, including collaborators, software, and time frame, and the nature of your question. Fortunately, there are several tools available to help guide your decision making. The flowchart in this slide will help you select the most appropriate review type through answering a series of foundational questions. Take a moment to pause and review it. Another tool that you can use to identify a review type is the online tool, What Review is Right for You? See the link in the video information section.